Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can write your JavaScript function inside a Python file and then execute them just like you execute a .py file. As you already know that Python and JavaScript both are the most popular and most widely used programming languages and the fact that we can use both of them in the same file makes this very interesting. So in this video, I'll guide you to the method that you can use to do this amazing task. Okay. And at the end, I'll also provide you to the link so that you can explore more possibilities of this method. Okay. So first of all, you need to install an external package called js2py, obviously. Okay. So just go to the CMD and just write pip install js to py. Press enter and this package will be installed for you. For me, this is already installed. So I'll close this and quickly jump to our editor so that I can show you that how this magic will happen. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So our first task is to import our js to py library. Okay, so now let's create a js variable or any variable name you can select, which will store all the JavaScript commands that you want to execute in this Python program. Now you can also use file handling to extract the commands from a JS file. But here I'm using a very simple method of just writing them inside a multi-line string. Okay. Okay. So now there you can see that this is a very simple JavaScript function by this keyword function. This function name is add and it is accepting two parameters x and y and inside this function we are returning x plus y values. Okay. And here we are calling our add function by the value 3 and 12 and then saving the value in this sum function. Okay. So now we have written our JavaScript function and now let's write the Python commands so that we can execute that JavaScript function. Okay. So first let's create a variable. Let's call this context. And what we'll use is we'll use js dot uh, js to py dot eval js method. This context variable is the object of this eval js. Now let's execute our js command. So we'll simply write execute here and then provide our js variable having all the javascript commands okay so now we have executed our javascript commands let's print our sum variable having the addition of 3 and 12 okay so we'll simply write context dot sum okay so from this we are calling this sum variable so let's let me save this open command from here uh, sorry PowerShell here then python 1.py and there you can see the addition of 3 and 12 is 15 okay so simply this was the method that you can use to execute a javascript function inside a python file now let's use some python commands also and then combine the javascript and python commands so let's say that we create a variable a and then we are getting the input. Okay. So we are getting the input just a second. Uh, let's say enter a number. Okay. So we are asking the user to enter the number and instead of printing this, we are storing this inside a variable. Let's say b. Okay. So b is equal to context dot sum. And then we are simply doing c is equal to a plus b. So pretty basic, but still it will give you an idea that how we can use JavaScript and Python together. Okay. So now let's print our c variable and let's run this uh, program and let's enter the number. So the addition of 3 and 12 is 15. Now let's write 3 here. 
so that it become 18 okay so now this is 18 okay so now i have shown you that how you can write a javascript function inside a python file i have also shown you that how you can use both python and javascript together now let me show you the link on which you can go to explore more of this uh, js2py package now this is the github page of this js2py package i'll provide the link in the description you can go there and explore this package now i am not exploring this package because i have no idea how javascript work and i don't want to make fool of myself okay so there you can see there are a lot of things here virtual machine in python okay so lot of things here you can just explore this and see uh, and there is also a folder called examples on which you can see the examples on this uh, js2py package also okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can write your javascript commands inside a python file okay and i hope that you go to this link and explore this a little bit and let me also know that what are some cool things that you can do with this js.py package okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye